The towering skyscrapers of lower Manhattan won't be floating anytime soon. But planners here are trying to learn from the Dutch as they forge a new relationship with the water. While some experts insist on giant barriers to keep the sea out. We're going to pull up the ropes and check them out. Others, like landscape architect Kate Orff, believe in a softer approach. This is a typical blue mussel that we're looking to recruit on this rope. Orff says the blue mussels clinging to these ropes could be a lifeline for New York Harbor and help the city survive a wetter future. The mussels are a keystone species, the first small step toward Orff's grand vision, a harbor filled with vibrant shellfish beds and small islands offering a natural defense against high water. You can't just think about resiliency as closing the gates, you know, putting up a giant seawall, but rather through introducing reefs and offshore islands. Ecological systems and marine life can play a role in making a more resilient harbor. New York Harbor was once filled with healthy oyster beds and mussel-covered reefs. After being nearly wiped out by pollution and dredging, today the mollusks might be making a comeback. Not only could they help keep the harbor clean, but some say that big beds of shellfish could weaken incoming waves and offer protection in a storm. I think we've learned over the past 100 years that you cannot isolate these problems, that we live in an ecosystem where everything is interconnected. Wow.